supposed to be our little adventure. <laughs> All we need is each other. That's what you said. Uh, you all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... <laughs> we came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on, I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now... I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. I understand. Yes, this is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? Billy, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I, I don't even have a knife with me. Don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh, just keep your eyes peeled. There, look. Grab it. Okay, stay quiet and still watch me. Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. Oh, my. 
try. <laughs> it worked. That is all there is to it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Oh, Lord. No. Oh, we're done for now. If you hadn't been here, I I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, oh, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there is nothing simple about any of this. Uh, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds off. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Well, nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, man. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. How's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just
just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Ah, would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. I say thank you but I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up would you join me for a meal it's the least I can do Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <clears throat> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Well, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here, and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself Picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make. <coughs> Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay.
My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. My, my. I was wondering when I was going to see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean that. No, I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Uh, I'm still standing, which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Please, go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh, well, that's very kind.
Charlie. It was a pleasure meeting you. You too, Arthur. Please be well. Hello there. Can I help you? I uh, think you knew a friend of mine. A fella called Arthur Morgan. Came by and helped you with some hunting and skinning probably seven or eight years back. Yes, of course. Well, I wouldn't be here right now if it wasn't for him. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, he passed soon after. I figured he might not have had long left. Such a shame. He found me at my lowest point, and he lifted me up. Glad to see you're doing well, ma'am. He wrote fondly of you. Oh, I couldn't be happier. Listen, it, it's a long way out here. You're welcome to take whatever you need from the house for your travel. No, no, that ain't necessary. Please, I have everything I need and more. But he gave me the ability to survive. And now I'm writing. Any friend of Arthur's is a friend of mine. Please take something. It would make me happy. Well, that's very kind of you, ma'am. You take care of yourself out here, ma'am.
Settle. 